Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use People Builder to create custom characters for a Doodly video. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Do you want to create a custom character for your next Doodly project? Well, People Builder is the perfect tool for the job. With this easy to use application, you can create characters that look just the way you want them to. Now I have a short little script here that I want to use for the grand opening of Joe's Diner. And I'd like to use a couple of custom characters rather than Andrew and Amanda who I have here right now. If you're not familiar with People Builder, it's made by the same company as Doodly. So you can create these characters using a simple drag and drop interface and then import them into Doodly. And what's really neat is when you import them, they have the drawing paths already in there automatically. So the hand will draw them. People Builder is also part of the upcoming Woomly Cloud platform, which may already be out by the time this video is published. If not, it's coming soon. You can also order People Builder separately if you'd like. So anyway, here's my script. As you can see, it's quite simple. I've got Tina and Joe, and they're gonna banter back and forth. I'd like to have a couple of different poses for my characters. So what I need to do is create a total of four images in People Builder. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna open People Builder right now. So you can see some of the characters I've already created. Well, I'm gonna start with a new one and I'm gonna title it Joe. So that's gonna be his name. Joe is a male, so I'm gonna click on the male tab. And he's not a boy, he's a man. He's not an elderly man. So what I'm doing is you'll see is I'm scrolling through all these different poses until I find one that I like. I do kind of like this slim character because primarily because he's holding signs and I do want that for my video. So I'm gonna pick this one. And here's the basic one. We could turn rainbow on and off. So if you prefer the black and white version, we could do that. I want to mention that you do not need the Doodly Rainbow add-on in order to take advantage of the rainbow colors inside of People Builder. So this is just a matter of preference. What do you want? Do you want the color or do you want the outline? I think today I'm going to do color. So I'm going to turn rainbow back on and replace this. Now we have a series of tabs here for the head, face, body, arms, and legs. Start with head. We could choose a different skin tone if we'd like. And hair. We could go even darker. We can just play around with it until we find the Joe character that we think we want. I'll go for this one. He's looking rather grumpy. I will change his face. I'd like him to be happy. And let's change his clothes, okay? That's, you do that with your body, arms, and legs. So he, right now he's wearing a long sleeve shirt. I think we're gonna put him into a short sleeve shirt. So we have this. And then on the arms, we can change the look. So now he's in like a muscle shirt. And I think that's fine. Then his legs, let's put him in jeans. So that's Joe, okay? So we wanna remember his hair and and clothing types because we want to do another pose. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and save him and I'm going to export him. DAS, this is what we want. This is your doodly asset file. And that's what I'm going to save him as. This preserves the hand motions and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and put him on my desktop. So that's saved and exported. Now I want a second pose. He's talking about the grand opening. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that. You'll notice it changes all of my presets. So that's why I wanted to remember, what did I do? Well, I put him in some jeans. I made him have no sleeves and he had this black muscle shirt on and he was happy. We can change this now if we want. Let's make him like that. And then his hair, we need to get his hair back. So here's his hair. So here he is, Joe. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this pose. Now, 
before I do, I don't want to overwrite my other DAS file. So let's see if I can do this. Joe the megaphone. And now let's save that and let's export it. Joe megaphone dot DAS. Okay. So Joe's done. Let's go ahead and create a new character. Let's go to female. We can change this to Tina. So let's have Tina be a plus size woman. I like her pointing. And let's fiddle with her a little bit. I like this bun and she needs to be happier. And maybe a little more casual. Let's see her arms. And she can wear the skirt if we'd like. Let's see what other choices we have. A long skirt. That's quite a bit more casual. Okay, I like this one, so I'm gonna go with this. So again, I wanna remember, we've got the orange bun, orange long sleeve sweater, and black shorts. Let's go ahead and save her and export her. Let's give her another pose. How about this one? Okay, there go all of my customizations. Not a problem, because we remembered these things, right? She's got the orange bun, the orange. Oh, not that one, she did this one. And then the long sleeves, and then the black short. I'm gonna go ahead and save it, and then we're gonna export it. I'm gonna change it to Sandy and continue. I'm not too worried about the change here because I'm gonna make one of them be more of a close-up than the other. I'm back in Doodly, so let's go ahead and import our DAS files. So you wanna be sure you're on the Characters tab. Click the little blue plus sign. And it's my understanding that you can only do one at a time. So we will do that one at a time. So here's Tina standing. Here's our other Tina. Here's Joe with his megaphone and just our regular Joe. All right, so now let's fiddle with these, okay? I don't want this one yet. It's gonna be on scene two, so I'm just gonna delete it. And we're gonna have this one on scene two, so we're gonna delete that one. We're also gonna delete our doodly characters. I'm gonna flip her here, her much larger. And then our logo is going to be on the sign. Okay, now that we have our characters in place, let's take a quick preview. You'll notice the hand draws our characters in. That's the DAS file in action. So that's pretty much it. I do want to point out one final thing though. If you go ahead and click on your character, you do get this little pencil icon and you could change it so that it fades in rather than doing the little scribble color. This is only for the color ones. And boom, save and return. And we'll do the same for her. Pencil, fade, save and return. So what's gonna happen is the hand's gonna draw the black and white outline and then the color's gonna fade in. So let's take a look. Here comes the hand drawing it and then boom, the color just fades in nicely. And of course, I could continue building this video with my other poses. As I go along, if I decide I want additional poses, then I just go back into People Builder and I create my additional pose. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.